just so happy about it. Um, couldn't wait to go to work. Just very, very happy. And I actually worked on the unit that I did my capstone or my practicum on. So I remember like following the nurse during my practicum and just asking her, like, what are your pet peeves about new nurses? What are the things that you wish that they would do? Um, you know, because I just wanted to be prepared to start on the floor. I knew I was working on that unit and I wanted to be like productive and liked and I wanted to have a good experience and, um, you know, just do my job in the best way that I knew possible. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't rub anybody the wrong way. And then I started out on the right foot. So I asked her that and she told me, you know, just make sure that you ask questions. She said the most annoying thing is when new nurses come in and they don't ask anyone anything and they think that they can do everything themselves. And then they secretly like start to drown. So she was like, you know, it's always better if you come to me before something happens, if you're not sure about something, before you make a mistake, or before you just kind of let something turn into this downhill mudslide and say, hey, like, what do you think about this? Or hey, I have a question about this. Or hey, can you help me with this? Because it's easier to help you when something is very first starting than it is to kind of like pull you out of this hole that you've dug for yourself. Um, and then also you can harm somebody. Uh, that way so she was like you know just make sure that you ask questions so always had that in the back of my head like I'm going to be very very nice to people and I'm going to ask questions no matter what <laughs> so then I started and I, everything went well I was like having a good first few months I was happy to go to work people even commented on it like people were like wow you're so happy now just wait girl you know give it a few months and I'm like whatever like I love my job I love what I do I love my patients so I'm all good so I was like on cloud nine with my rose colored glasses on just like oh everything is like flowers and dandelions like everything's fine um and so time progressed and a newer group of nurses came in even after me but we were um closer in experience um so I had been there for a few months and then a newer group of nurses came in after me and then there was like this older group of nurses that I worked with the thing about it is, is that the older group of nurses weren't really like senior nurses. They had been there for like maybe a year or two. They were more senior than us. And at that hospital, it's just like, it, there was a high turnover rate. It honestly wasn't like the best job. Um, so like, yeah, the senior nurses on our unit had a year or two. And so it kind of turned into like them versus us. There was really no reason for it. We were always like, I feel like everyone that I worked with that was newer was really nice and they were approachable. They were accepting. They had this like zeal for learning. But if anyone ever made a mistake, if they ever did anything different than the way that the older group of nurses did, it was just like an issue. And so it became like there was this like awkward tension on the floor that you could feel. Um, and I feel like honestly, a lot of it came from like, the older nurses being like, wow, we are the most senior people and kind of being afraid of that because there were so many new people. Um, and they knew that they still had room to learn as well. But, you know, time went by and everything was okay. I just remember like particularly there was this one day when I was on the floor and someone told me about this group message and that I was being talked about in this group message. And it was like the older nurses, maybe like three of them had this group text, a few of them, I don't know, but three of them were at work that day, had this group text and they would talk about people. And that day I was the person and I was told what was said and I just could not believe it. I was like, what? Like, why would anybody talk about me? I don't know, it was crazy. Um, and so I just remember being so upset and so offended and, Honestly, I was livid. I was livid in the moment. I had to literally like take a step away and calm myself. I called one of my family members who is like an amazing prayer warrior. I called her and I just remember her like praying with me on the phone and just like it just totally calmed my spirit. I was in the break room and like even when I hung up the phone, I was like praying, just like praying to God, like calm me. Like, take over me right now, Holy Spirit, because I'm about to say something dumb or do something dumb. And so I was, like, literally in tears in the break room, just praying, 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 and staring myself up in the spirit. And I just, like, became more and more calm. Now, I would not recommend this because I went the very same day to talk to those people. But some people, like, if you can't calm yourself that way... I feel like what really helped me was like having that connection with God, 
stepping aside and talking to God, letting God lead the way instead of being led by my flesh. But like, if you can't do that, take some days. Like, don't immediately go into the situation. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> but for me, like, I had calmed myself down completely. So I stepped out of the break room and I decided, okay, I'm going to go talk to these people. We're all professionals. We're all adults. I'm going to go talk to these people. And so now I'm going to go into the steps of what you should do if you experience nurse bullying. So the first thing that I did was go and talk to them one-on-one -on -one personally. Um, two of the people that were in the group message were there at work. And so I approached them very calmly, very professionally, like the same way that I'm speaking in this video. And, you know, I just told them like what I had heard and I, and I asked them like, what really is the problem? And if you do have like criticism for me, I'll gladly accept it. I'll gladly like try to be better in these areas. Like what is the issue? Um, and so I, I approached them and I, I expressed that. And one of the nurses was like, you know, I don't have any issues at all. I don't have any problems at all. Like I don't, I, I don't even know. And just kind of like shifted off. Now the other nurse that was there was a completely different story. She became super defensive. Um, and it took her forever to come up with like a particular thing about me that she had an issue with. But eventually she said, you know, it's not that you're not helpful, but it's that you don't assume to help. Like if I'm about to go do a dressing change, you don't like hand me what I need to do it. Or you don't ask, like just make an assumption of what I need before I actually have to ask you to do it. Which at the time that made absolutely no sense to me because it kind of felt like you're telling me that I need to be psychic and I need to assume what you need. But if you ask me to help you, then I'm always there to help. So I just didn't really get it. And I also was thinking like, I'm a new nurse. Like, how am I going to assume what you need? I barely know what I need. I'm checking these policies step by step to see exactly what I need to do. So like, how would I be able to assume what you need in a situation? So I didn't really get it. Um, but then like she progressed and she started using profanity. She said that I was trying to make myself seem like the bigger person by coming and approaching them calmly and trying to make her seem like a B word. And she was like, if you want me to be a B, then I'll be a B. And I was like, oh my Lord. Like y'all, this moment. And then she told me I was unapproachable. She told me, you know, if she had some type of criticism, she wouldn't feel comfortable coming to me with it because, you know, I, I just seem unapproachable and as though I don't take criticism well. And I was like, wow, but you're being really unapproachable right now. I'm like, you're literally cursing right now because I came to you and I'm like, hey, what is the issue? I, I don't know. It was crazy. It was crazy, y'all. The conversation actually ended up ending on a very good note. And I think, like, I just owe it to God in prayer because he got me through that moment and just, like, denying my flesh and what I really wanted to do, which was mm, mm, mm. But, you know, reeled it back in, was super professional, super nice. Um, ended the conversation on a good note. And I ended up not facing any more issues with them. But the thing that I did next is also very vital. So I approached them, then I approached the next step up. So I told my charge nurses about the issue and I wanted to make sure that I had a paper trail. This is what you absolutely positively have to do. Say you have to continue to go up the chain of command because first you address the person as a professional, as an adult, calmly. You don't go to them argumentative and spewing curse words or spewing hate. You just go to them calmly and try to work the situation out because like I said, like I've said this several times in this video, you are adults. You should be able to handle something between the two of you, but sometimes that's not the case. So then what you do next is you go to your charge nurse, you go to your manager, and you just continue going up the chain of command. And each chain you go to, you want to make sure that you have proof. You want to make sure you have proof of your conversations and everything that you've done in the past. So you're going to want to create a paper trail. So what I did next, I had already talked to them. Everything like ended well, but I didn't know if, you know, their actions would continue. So I still went to my charge nurse. I told my charge nurse about everything that had happened. And I also told her about the conversation that had taken place. Then I wrote an email as per our discussion. And I went over every single thing that had already been discussed. That way, if things got worse or they didn't get better, I had this email to say, on this day, I said this, 
and nothing was done about it and it got worse and then I emailed my manager and say on this day I said this and nothing was done about it and it got worse and so you're just gonna want to keep proof and evidence of absolutely everything protect yourself um, and then just also make sure that something's being done because at the end of the day you don't deserve to go into work each day and hate the environment and that's what it was becoming for me um, before it got to the point to where I actually addressed it I hated it I hated going to work each day I felt anxious there was tension I felt like I couldn't ask people questions because you could tell that there was that air there like it just was not a good work environment and it was just absolutely ridiculous so um, those are the things that I absolutely recommend if you do start experiencing it and then just to tie up the end of my story I actually started travel nursing um, a little while after all of this had happened I think another thing that's very important in those situations not just to like protect yourself but to also take a look within like what can you learn from this situation how can you grow from it is anything that people are saying true and so I had to really reflect on that and I was like you know I'm starting to travel nurse now like what can I do going into these new jobs to make sure that that doesn't happen to me again so always make sure that you're very nice that you're very helpful that you're very um, personable and now that I know a little bit more I'm like okay if I walk past the room and I see somebody doing something like just offer up help um, which I'm not really sure if I wasn't doing before or not I don't know but whatever now that I've been a nurse for a while it's like you know how to assume a few things now but yeah I don't know I just was like you know I'm just gonna try to be super helpful and super nice wherever I go I haven't ran into that issue anywhere else um, and I've always gotten requests to extend my co-workers have always been like we absolutely love you are you gonna stay and so I just was like uh I don't know but I'm just I'm glad and super blessed to be out of that situation and to never have experienced anything like that again so that's one thing i want to leave you all with as well like don't be discouraged don't be afraid um this doesn't happen to everybody and it doesn't happen at every single place like since i had left that job i've never experienced anything like that again everyone's always been super nice to me i've always gone into very traveler friendly hospitals um by the grace of god <laughs> So it's definitely not something that you will 100% for sure experience, but I do hope that, you know, if it is something that you're faced with, that this video can give you a little bit of guidance and a little bit of hope and help you to get yourself out of it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all soon.